or if they're in the process of creating some of the websites, this video will be really helpful for you to know about what all the mistakes you should not be doing with the examples I'm going to show here. I am Raghu, UI UX designer. Today, we're going to see about the five common mistakes what the designer will be doing in the initial stages. Let's address with the examples. I have set of images which shows what all mistakes you should not do and I will be explaining one by one in each slide. The first point I'm going to talk about the navigation tab. The design what I'm sharing to you right now is created by one of the designer. The problem here is most of the designers nowadays they intend to create a website and they do the website like a mock-up kind of a presentation. They are very much eager to do a mock-up but the website should be in a proper standard size that has to be replicated in the mock-up also. Can you see the studio 101 classes community and the login and the login CTA which has been very much bold and it has been the font size is very big. This can't work here because the joiners and the login which is almost in the same size. Take the mock-up out from the design and just expand this mock-up into a proper website in a full expansion expanded view. In that view, the login will be in very much bigger size. So this cannot be done in this way because it will be very much prominent and here it loses the intensity of the value of what the login does. It should be very much small. There should be a proper hierarchy should be followed for the login and also for the joiners. The navigation should be very much good so that the user should not be stuck in between and it should not be very much prominent so that the customer should be look deeper into the design not into the navigation which attracts their concentrations. Let's move to the design too. I have a view of the design and think what is the problem here and how the things can be addressed in which way. It looks really good but the problem here is what the meaning of the design and what the design tells me whether it is a destination or it's a journey what is it there is no more content about what is it once the customer lands into this website they will be very happy to see this design but they doesn't know what is the content is in that way the content has to be very much clear and it should be adding value to your design this is the main problem hitting into this design let's go to the design tree hierarchy is the problem here can you see carving for pizza we are just a click away and you can also find the red tab which is there very much prominent here it's very confusing there is lots of things happening in this design there should be a proper hierarchy which has been followed in this image font is playing a main role where the font carving for pizza if that is important it should be header one if you think we are just a click away that should be header two and the pizza size and the red color very prominent tab these all should be very much correlated in the way the design has to be when the customer comes into here the eye should be traveling from the top to bottom or the what are the main element from the header to header 2 or header 3 it has to travel in that way but here it's a complete mismatch it's very messy i can see uh, in this way the design has to be improved when you're doing this design this kind of typography design keep the hierarchy in the way the heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 how that has to be correlated in a single way you should be very much clear on to that let's go to the design Design 4. Here the problem is this website has 4 images and you can find the text the best granite you ever seen. The background of the image and the text color are very much similar. The customer completely lost their attention of the text. The, the reason why you have put the best granite you have ever seen you have made a very good text best granite you ever seen in this way the concentration of the typography is completely missed because the color what they use in the typography and the image what they have at the background is almost same this doesn't look that much pleasing just think if you're doing any of the website take a task of making a four images at the background and take the same thing and create a design with the same typography and also bring out the different colors next design here also the alignment plays the major issues over here the alignment should be very good they have a very contrast image at the background that's fine they have a black overlay on the top it looks pleasing so that the contrast of the image has been completely cut down but the composition of the text and the typography which they have mentioned on the left side and the carousel which they have on the right side bottom it looks something away and it hits the margin they doesn't have the proper typography and the proper grid alignment here if the grids are there the carousel which is there on the right side bottom should be properly aligned and i can see the website name which is there on the left side top it doesn't looks prominent because anyway you're doing marketing for a website right so that should be very much higher in your design 
keep this in your mind don't miss out the logo of the website the next example is also there in the same format of the alignment where my eyes which is going from the top left to bottom which goes like a slanting curve the image which they have in their website it doesn't look that much of prominent it occupies that much of me my eye when i look into this design it's automatically traveling to get a membership which is there on the bottom in this way i'm missing out the swim your way out of the stress and enjoy the process i'm just missing out this text and typography can you see the typography which is there and the, it looks very prominent and the image which is there on the bottom and the space between the float image and the typography should be little bit adjusted so that it should be looking very good but in this in this design the color they used in the typography is the black color which doesn't looks very much appealing for me it goes towards the design and it's not making that much of sense the same problem is the hierarchy and the alignment missed out here this is some of the critical issues which has to be addressed by any of the designer and the last example I love this design very much. The way the typography has been used and the car which is there, the two lines of burgundy which is going down from the color. This design looks very good for me. The typography they used, the car which is there in the middle and the two lines which is there falling from the top to bottom. They have used the background and MA Z. It's all the colors which is derived from the car where the hierarchy is very good where the car is being highlighted in the top. But don't you think the two lines which is coming from the top it's very much going into the design of the car these two lines which has been coming from top to bottom the color should have been in different colors so that the highlights of the car has been completely missed out here so if they correct this color and the car hierarchy will be very much adjusted and this design looks very pleasing for me and the red dots what they have in the right side bottom that is completely okay for me since they have very uh, they are occupying very much small pixels in the image it looks very pleasing and the image is also having one of the pleasing tone and these colors has been derived from the car and they have taken the car as the main prototype and from there the whole design has been derived and the colors has been derived i kept this example because i just want to show how the typography and the colors has been derived from the hierarchy you got some of the idea about how the design has to be done and five common mistakes which you should not be doing while you're designing the website hope this video works for you if you think this video is really helpful hit the like button and share it with your friends or any of your family members to get know about the design oriented contents subscribe my channel to know more and more details about the design hope this video really helpful for you see you there in the next video very soon bye